And now, filmed in front of a live studio audience from the Pokestar Studios in Burbank City, it's Puckle Game Corner. And now, your host, Professor Snag. Hello and welcome to Puckle Game Corner. I'm your host, Professor Snag. Thank you all for coming back and listening to our monthly trivia game show. Today we have two wonderful co-hosts who haven't been on here, at least not recently. Uh, it's been a while for both of them, so I'm very glad to have some uh, fresh voices on the show. Uh, we have your host of the uh, the Puckle Battlecast, Seth Vilo. Ahoy there, folks. How you doing, Seth? How you been? I've been good. I'm getting everything cleaned around the house for summer, so I am physically exhausted but ready for this mental challenge. <laughs> well, awesome. We're definitely glad to have you on. I think the last time we had you on was probably uh, to play somewhere in, in Season 2 of, of the uh, uh, of Game Corner's uh, something or other. <laughs> I think it was my rematch with Linian rematch in the champion. Ah, nice. Nice, good. Uh, you and Lenny are always good to uh, uh, have on together. I think like I spent so much time recording or editing that episode. <laughs> so, uh, and You're his, very talkative. Yes, you are. <laughs> and his opponent and uh, eventually partner today is uh, Grandmaster R Sigma. Hello. Hi, Ben Sigma. Uh, pretty good. I think the last time I was on was August last year, maybe? Oh, uh, I... You've only been on the show... Might have been July. You, you've only been on the show once, right? Uh, I was on once as a contestant back in year one, I okay, think. Okay, yeah, yeah, I think, yeah. I mean, it's, it's been a while since you've been on as well, so... Uh, but, uh, very glad to have you on. I know you are also a font of knowledge when it comes to Pokemon, so... Uh, looking forward to having you both on. It should be a really good show. Mm-hmm. Well, with that, it, without any further ado, should we just, uh... Dive into the first game? Hey. Hey. Yep. Grab your Gyarados and your Mudkip. It's time to play Dive. Contestants will choose a particular category with multiple answers. They will alternate answers that fall into this category until someone cannot answer within the time limit. The player who dives deepest and gives the most answers wins the point. If the competitors give the same number of answers and reach the same depth, it's a tie and they both get the point. Good luck, players! All right, gentlemen, as you heard, we are playing Dive. Did you have any questions about the rules before we got rolling? Don't think so. I'm ready to get my feet wet. I'm all set. All right, wonderful. So we do have uh, several categories for you to choose from, uh, and we'll start with one of you uh, picking one of the categories, and we'll go back and forth. You can try and pick a category that you think you can do better than your opponent in, or maybe one that you think that they're not so strong in. So the seven categories that we have are normal type TMs, Base 90 Power Attacks, HMs, Pokemon that got a new evolution in Gen 4, Types the Starters Get, Species Specific Z Moves, not the Crystal, and Fossil Names. So uh, why don't we go ahead and start out with uh, Seth, I introduced you first. Which of these seven categories would you like to start with? Uh, I'm going to go with Types of the Starters. That sounds like a fun one. All right, so types the starters get. So this is obviously going to be any type that uh, the starter Pokemon will get either naturally or uh, through evolution. Uh, Seth, why don't you go ahead and start? All right, fighting. Fighting is indeed one of the uh, types that one of the starters get. Sigma? Get your score bunny ready, folks. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, let's go ground. Uh, ground in indeed is one as well. Back to Seth. Flying. Flying, yes. Ghost. Ghost. Steel. Steel, yes, that is another one. Fairy. Fairy, correct. Poison. Poison, indeed. Uh, can we name... I was curious, fire? too. <laughs> uh, yes, fire, <laughs> uh, it is on my list. Fire counts, for sure. <laughs> dragon. Uh, I accept dragon as well, yes. Water. Water, good. I guess by technicality, grass. <laughs> grass, all right. There are a few more left. Dark. Dark indeed, yes. Psychic. Well, dang it, you guys just uh, got them all. 
Good job. I, I, I am out. <laughs> Unless I missed one. I don't think I did, but uh, uh, I think we hit all of them. So good job, Jill. That's everything on my list. Yeah, good job. I'm so. running through it in my head really fast. In, ca- in case I'm wrong, uh, this will be where I go in and edit it and put... Oh, no, we need another one. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> All right, good job, uh, gentlemen. I'm not surprised that you uh, were able to finish that off uh, very, very easily. So you both get the point for that one. Even though Seth technically Yay. named one extra, I'm sure Sigma had it too. I, I think I right, would have been able to get it. So over to Sigma then. Uh, Sigma, what, uh, which of the categories would you like to pick? Let's go Pokemon that got a new evolution in Gen 4. Pokemon that got a new oh, evolution dear. in Gen 4. All right, I, I'm excited for this one. <laughs> so Sigma, you have selected Pokemon that got a new evolution in Generation 4. And with this, let's go ahead and have you name the evolution, not the original Pokemon. Um, and you can go ahead and give it a shot. Okay, Weavile. Yes, Weavile. I'm going to try and stretch the rules here. Mantike. Mantike, I will accept. Okay, Miss Magus. Miss Magius, yes. Gallade. Gal- oh, sorry, I thought we were just bouncing. <laughs> oh, you know, keep, keep going. I mean, uh, these are all correct so far, so just go ahead and, and keep rolling with it. Gallade. Yes, Gallade, yes. Uh, Sigma. Frostlass. Good. That is that is indeed on the list. What else? Electivire. Yes. Magmortar. Of course. So they are counterparts. Back to uh, Seth Vilo. Tangrowth. A very good answer. A very big, bulky regenerator mon. Back to our Sigma. Licky Licky. Very good. Yes. Licky Licky is indeed uh, probably an unneeded evolution, but it is there. <laughs> Seth Vilo. <laughs> Yan Mega. Yan Mega is on there as well. Good. Honchcrow. Yes, Honchcrow is indeed on the list. So you're starting to whittle this down pretty well. Oh, no. Um, <laughs> I got two more. <laughs> At least. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, yeah. We'll one pretty I quickly here, Seth Vilo. <laughs> Crud. Oh, my goodness. Propopass. <laughs> Good, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> Sigma? Magnazone. Magnazone indeed is on the list. Good. Says Vilo. Are, are, mm, you're uh, killing my parallels because I was thinking that next. I was thinking magnets. Ah. <laughs> There's two easy ones. <laughs> Oh no! Have you have you have you uh, dove as as deep as you can go? Yeah, I can't think of anything fast enough. I think I'm out. I've gone past my time collectively. Oh no! Oh. Leafeon takes another one. Leafeon takes the victim. Leafeon <laughs> takes another, as does its sister. <laughs> yes, indeed. Oh, Leafeon no. takes it. Uh, nicely done. There are several others. Um, uh, aren't there like twenty or thirty? That's where I would have to. Porygon oh, Z. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Roserade. I'm so uh, sorry, Bud, everybody. You could have gone Buddu, or you could even, uh, like, with you stretching your nose, you could have gone Mime Jr. Happini. So. Roserade. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I've disappointed so, so many people. <laughs> it's okay when you're on the spot and have a little bit of a time limit to, to do this on. It, it's hard. It's hard. So, uh, nicely <laughs> done, though. Uh, Seth, maybe you can get it back on this one. What one? What uh, category are you going to choose for this? Um, the ones that are left are normal type out. TMs, uh, base 90 attacks, HMs, species specific Z moves, and fossil names. I'm going to go with 90 base power moves. Alrighty. 90 base power moves. <laughs> oh, no. Alright, so we have 90 base power moves. Seth Vilo. Give it a shot. All right. Since we're playing dive, we'll go with surf. <laughs> uh, surf is indeed on the list. Yes. Sigma. Flamethrower. Flamethrower is indeed a ninety base power attack. Seth Vilo. Thunderbolt. Uh, Thunderbolt. Where there it is. Yes, that is indeed on the list. <laughs> While they may have reduced the power of Aura Spear down to eighty in regens, I believe they did buff the power of Energy Ball up to ninety. Energy Ball is indeed up to ninety. Yes. Seth Vilo. Ice Beam. Ice Beam is indeed on the list. Yes, good. Keep it rolling, Sigma. Psychic. Psychic. Very good. Back to Seth Vilo. 
this was a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> you think I have more than one more left? <laughs> Bug Buzz. Bug Buzz is indeed on the list. Back to our Sigma. Okay, I think we're up to two. Pollen Puff. Um, what? Pollen Puff. <laughs> or, it's uh, Rabambi's signature move. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same as Bug Buzz, except you can heal the uh, your teammate in doubles. I'm not seeing that on my list. Uh-oh. Let me look here. I think it's called Pollen Puff. The tension's rising. It's right here, folks. Right. <laughs> this is the moment. Um... Okay, yeah, it was not on the list I was looking at, but after doing a quick Google search, yeah, Pollen Puff is indeed a 90 base power move. Nice. I I learned something today, too. All right. Uh, so back to Seth Violet. Can you top Pollen Puff? Fiery Dance. That might be wrong. I've actually, now that I think about it, I think it's 80 base power. I might have just messed up. All right, Fiery Dance does have an 80 base power uh dang level. it yes so, <laughs> so since you started this though uh it goes back to sigma sigma Ooh. can you name one more 90 base power attack oh i feel like multi-attack let's see if that one's one so valet would be boring enough to have a 90 base power move in all types though what's its favorite stat number though 95. Dun, so, dun, dun. So, the list, so this is funny because the list I'm looking at uh, has uh, must not have like species specific ones because multi attack is indeed a 90 base power attack. Uh, Darn it. Sigma does get the point <laughs> for that one. Nicely done. Good job. Uh, yeah, nice job pulling out those species specific uh, ones that are. Uh, again, I wasn't even aware of Pollen Puff. Uh, shows how much I use Rabambi. Uh, and uh, <laughs> Multi-Attack is indeed uh, one as well. But yeah, the list I'm looking at uh, doesn't have those on there. All the other ones you named were there. But All right, so uh, a few other ones that you guys, uh, I would expect you probably should have uh, been aware of. Thousand Arrows and a thousand, thousand Waves. I thought so. Darn it. Oh, Thousand Arrows, Thousand Waves, and that other garbage one that doesn't Lamb's actually Wrath, do anything. Lamb's Wrath, I believe. I yeah. think that was... That's... Yep, Lamb's Wrath. Yep, I that's on there. Um, Earth Power. Um, oh, uh, yeah. Aqua Tail. Technician boosted a hidden power. <laughs> uh, is Jump Cut... Is Jump Kick still 90, or is that up to 100 uh, now? It, it's not on my list. I'm not going to dig any further than that, so... Okay. I think they upped it to 100 at some yeah, point. You, oh, yeah, and they, they nerfed my jump kick. Did that's you right. know that Uproar is a base 90 power attack? Uh, that's new to me. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, like, at least according to Bulbapedia on here, Uproar is a base 90 power attack, which I'm a little surprised I think it's by. a fairly recent buff. Yeah. Anyway, uh, so we have one more category to select, our Sigma. Uh, what is your choice of the ones that are remaining? Again, it's normal type uh, TMs, HMs. Species specific Z moves and fossil names. Let's just go with A gems. Make it A gems. Okay. Uh, Sigma, go ahead and start us off. We'll go with cut HM1. Cut is indeed. Uh, it is indeed HM1. Pretty much every single time. I I, I think it was an a, uh, HM1 every time. Seth Vilo. Why ruin a good thing? Surf. Correct. That one's typically HM3. Why? I'll keep it in order with the fly. <laughs> HM2. <laughs> yes, keep in order. One, three, two. <laughs> yes, fly. All right, uh, so Vilo. Strength. Strength is indeed an HM, yes. What number, though? Four. <laughs> uh, I should say, at least in Generation 1, it was four. In other ones, it may. I'm pretty sure it stayed. Well, I stay, I think it stayed. Anyways, I, I, I can't comment on because there's other ones that may be coming up that may be different. So, anyways. <laughs> Everyone's favorite move to put on something Flash. Flash is indeed an HM. All right, so you, you've burned through the first generation. Now comes what, what, what can you really remember? Everyone's other favorite move to put on something Defog. Defog. Well, it is now. <laughs> I like it on things. Back, back in Gen 4, it wasn't very good, but... Nope. <laughs> All right, back to our Sigma. Waterfall. Waterfall is indeed a, a an HM. The first game we played, Dive. And the game you're currently playing, Dive. <laughs> I'm not incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I said and. <laughs> 
All right, our Sigma? Rock Smash. Rock Smash, yes. Rock Climb. Rock Climb. Back to Sigma? Whirlpool. Whirlpool. And you just uh, got your uh, got it back from Seth Vile from the starter question because uh, that is that is all the HMs I have on my list. Do you guys have any other HMs that you can think of? The up button on my D-pad on Sun and Moon. <laughs> right. <laughs> Tauros. <laughs> Tauros. <laughs> no, no. You you uh, you said up button on your DS. You already said that. We already said fly. Touche. Touche. Okay. <laughs> I mean, what what monster doesn't map fly to the up button? I don't. I put Tauros there. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> I put fly on left. Fly mean up. Fly mean up, <laughs> therefore up. Yeah, but I'm lazy. I want it to be closest to my joystick. Oh my <laughs> put my gosh. bike on. All right. With that, uh, this game has finished. Um, I'm not quite... Like, I understand how it's possible, but Sigma, you got a clean sweep, still with Seth Vile scoring two <laughs> points. <laughs> that's okay. I would have been able to get, like, one species-specific Z move, and then that's it. Oh, really? It. Oh, okay. Clangorous, Soul Blaze, um... Stoke Spark Surfer, Guardian of Alola. That's it. <laughs> that's all Super I know. Super Mega Moon Ray. Hey, stop, stop ruining, because I'm going to save those for later. <laughs> those will be in, in future editions of Dive, so just stop spoiling <laughs> Although I think I've had uh, normal type TMs on the list for two games now. I think I'm going to take that one off. I think that was kind of a dud. Oh, I think that's a good one. I think it's, I think it's good if you have no other options. That's a scary one, though. <laughs> yeah, there's like a lot you can name, but at the same time, there's so many you forget. That's, that, the thing is, like, there's so many that I could forget. And so many that are probably dark type. Or you think are dark type and aren't really dark type? That's a good category. Nice. <laughs> it's just well, scary. Uh, maybe we'll, we'll hang on to it for a, another time. We'll see. But uh, with that, uh, we will come back after this commercial break. These gentlemen will team up for a new spin on an old game. We'll catch you folks on the flip flop. Explore the region of Or. Or anywhere else. Visit the diverse landscape. Guys, it's it's literally just a desert. Find a variety of wild Pokemon. Oh, I, I think there is one. No, it's just sand. Um, really, that's 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 about it. Really? That I I had like three more quips ready to fire. <laughs> no, it's it's I, it's just sand and no Pokemon. I wow. Uh, this. Please don't go here. Altaria Airs, where the sky is the limit. Does your gulpin spit up when it only meant to belch? Did your hypno eat a bad dream? Is there an earthquake in your golem's bowels? Take Pepto Absol for Nocidra, Love Disc Burn, Upset Swallop, and Dialgaria. That's Pepto Absol. Use as directed. Do not take if allergic to ingredients of awakening, antidote, and ice, paralyze, and burn heal. May disrupt rest. Ask your doctor if Pepto Absol is right for you if you have the insomnia ability. That's Pepto Absol. Hey, Pucklonians. Thanks for listening to Game Corner on Puckle Plus. If you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss an episode of Game Corner, the TCG cast, or any of the other great shows you find here. Come hang out with us on our Discord server where you can chat with hosts and other members of our community. Make sure you like and follow us on all of our social media outlets like Facebook and Twitter to keep up to date with all the Puckle news. Check us out on Twitch where each week Jushiro plays the TCG online and Thatch does viewer battles. And finally, if you want to support us financially, there are a few ways you can do that. Either by joining our Patreon as a monthly donor, where you can get some exclusive Puckle items, or by buying a shirt from our Tee Public Store. Either way, you get some pretty cool swag for doing so. Catch you on the flip-flop! Arbok and Weezing are headed to Kanto, and so are you! It's time to play Fuchsia City Feud! In this game, our hosts are working as one team. The top five Pokémon of a randomly selected type and stat are ranked into six categories. Players will work together to name these Pokémon as accurately as they can. Incorrect answers earn a strike for the category, but all categories can be reattempted throughout the game. The team has a total of six strikes. On the seventh strike, the game ends, and Team Rocket blasts off with all of the remaining Pokemon. Good luck, players! 
Welcome back from the break, Puckalonians. I hope you enjoyed those uh, the commercials that we had there. They're always a good, fun listen to. So uh, with that, as you heard, we are playing Fuchsia City Feud. I'm very excited to uh, do it this way. Uh, I know that Seth and Sigma are both very skilled battlers. They know their Pokemon very well. So we're going to see just how well they know their stats. Uh, again, they're going to go through six categories here, looking for the top five Pokemon in each of these categories. And we are going to be... Uh, they get six total strikes throughout the entire game, and we are also going to give them the option to pass if they get a strike or two on one category. Gentlemen, do you have any questions before we get started? Nope. I don't believe so. All right. So let's go ahead and get started right away on this. And the first category is going to be the HP stat, and I want to know the top five dragons uh, for their HP. And I will mention with this... Um, uh, you know what, I'm just going to let you guys answer and I will give you any more information you need at that point. <laughs> hmm. Who starts? Um, uh, Sigma does. Sure. Uh, let's guess Ultra Necrozma. Ultra Necrozma. See, this is a thing that I needed to check on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I was so close. I, I know what the answer is for number one. <laughs> yeah, I think I do, too. <laughs> <laughs> so close. <laughs> uh, let me verify. Okay, so HP of Dragon-type Pokemon? No, Ultra Necrozma is not on there. That's your, your first strike right off the bat, gentlemen. That's fine. We got one. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think you do, yeah. So what, what's, what's the one that you have? I believe the first number one is Qrem. No, no, that's not what I was thinking is number one. Oh, well, but at least it's, it's on still the list. There. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So never mind. Kurum yeah. is on the list, though. That is number four, and that yeah, goes just for all one. forms of Kurum. Okay. Uh, Guzzlord is number one, I hope. Guzzlord yeah. is indeed number one, yes. Guzzlord is the first one. Nicely done. All right. Uh, what else do you got? Seth Vilo, back to you. Oh, no. Um. <laughs> what has more okay. HP than a Kyrum? What has more HP than base 125? Oh, oh, uh, wait. Is Guzzlord number one? Guzzlord. I can think of one that's higher. <laughs> maybe. It's base 223. Guzzlord. So, uh, maybe it's slightly lower. It, it is a Gen 7 Pokemon in technicality. <laughs> nope. Uh, <laughs> so what, uh, what What do you guys... I think I know what you're getting at, Sigma. What do you got? <laughs> ah! Um, Gen it's a, oh, it's a Gen oh, I got it. Yeah. I got it. Uh, complete form Zygarde. Uh, yes, that one is just below Guzzlord. Guzzlord is at 223. Uh, Zygarde complete is 216. Remember yep. when HP totals were low before Gen 7 for Dragon-type <laughs> Pokemon? I do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking Kyurem's number one. Oh, no, you're wrong. <laughs> All right. A uh, couple more spots to fill out here, three and five. Uh, do you have any thoughts on this one? I have a, sp I have a thought on five, and it's just Baby Brother. Um, like, I was thinking maybe Dialga. But I don't. Yes. Or Giratina? No. Yeah, that's it. Giratina? Okay. Uh, yeah, Giratina. Giratina, yes, is indeed number three. The bulky one of that trio. I I think 50% uh, Zygarde. It's base 108. Uh, One, I, between 108 and 125. Anything in there that's coming to mind? Like it. I feel like Dialga has a chance. Same with uh, Garchomp, maybe? Gudra? Maybe Garchomp is one oh eight as well. Okay, so maybe Gudra. I think Gudra is base below one hundred for HP. It's all special defense for that one. Okay. Uh, other options. I don't think it's not the Rayquaza. It's not Rayquaza. That's too fragile. Um. Oh, maybe it's Dragonite. Does Dragonite have like a one thirty four HP no. or something weird like that? No, it's no? its attack is one thirty four. Oh, okay. All right, I'm gonna be asking for an answer here, folks, because we do gotta keep on rolling. I feel like Dialga is a better guess than Zygarde Since and we Garchomp. Know that they're tied. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I'll go Dialga. That is your second strike. Oh do boy. We want to just move on. Yeah, let's just move on. We'll All come right. back to it if we need. Okay, it's so number five. That's a hard one. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, number five is still open on that one, and we'll, we will uh, come back to that one. Let's move on to this next one. Uh, we'll do uh, defense and the poison type. I want to know uh, which poison type Pokemon have the best defense. Hey, look, it's Toxapex. Um, <laughs> hey, look. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you got number one. There's Toxapex. Okay, what do you guys got next? 
Uh, Mega Venusaur, I think, has 121. Okay, uh, I'm, I'm fine with Mega Venusaur. <laughs> Poison types are not known for their bulk, and if it's 121, no. <laughs> it's probably up there. So, yeah. Did have we, we, have we formally Venusaur? said Mega Venusaur? Yeah. Uh, yes, Mega Venusaur is indeed number two. Okay. Wow. Okay, that was higher than I was expecting it to be. Uh, it wasn't for me. <laughs> Those, like I said, poison types are terrible at defensive stats. Uh, Other we, ones that come to mind might? are wheezing. Yeah, I think that's one fifteen or one twenty. Okay. Um, yeah, wheezing. Yeah, I think it's it. one twenty. Yep, wheezing is number three. So you got four and five left here. Uh, would your Apion be up there? I think that's base one ten. So I think it's up there. At I one ten. You nailed it. Yes. yes. <laughs> now, can you get the number five spot here? Oh, okay. Well, now it becomes a challenge. Uh, Scolipede up there? Yes, that's it. Okay, Scolipede. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 no. wait, 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 wait. Is Whirlipede higher? Is Whirlipede higher? I don't um, think so. But it is Gen 5. Uh, I am willing to submit Scolipede and just move on. If it let's fails. pass. On this. No, we can't pass till we get a strike. I think. Yeah, we, yeah. Uh, give give it a shot first, and then we'll. Uh, it has to be at least one strike before you can pass. Got it. Okay, I forgot about that. Um, yeah, so. We should have passed earlier on the dragons. <laughs> um, hey, we only got two strikes. We're yeah, we're in good true. shape. Yeah, I'm good with Scolipede, even though my gut is screaming. Whirlipede. <laughs> yeah. I'm what's your, what's the answer, gentlemen? Scolipede. Scolipede is incorrect, earning your team's Oof. third strike. Yeah, okay, we're passing. <laughs> All right. Yep. Uh, the next one is um, fairy-type Pokemon, and with their attack stats. What fairy types have the best attack stats? Tapu Koko. Um, Honestly, it's base 115. That's decently no? high. Or Yeah, it's well, actually, I think Xerneas is high. It's got 131. Well, yeah, and then there's Mega Diancie. Granbull is 130. Deonce is up there. Mega Deonce is number yeah. one, I believe, at base 150. Yes. Okay. All right, so start start making some answers official, guys. Mega Deonce. Yes. Xerneas. Granbull. Granbull. Yes and yes. Okay. What order? So, uh, Deonce is, Mega Deonce is one. Xerneas is two. Granbull is four. So we need oh. number three Ooh. and number five. That's interesting. Uh, I thought... Oh, Tapu Bulu. That's 125. Yeah, that should be in the middle of there. It should it's be 130. It's 130. Uh, yeah. I lied. The Tapus share the same stats, just distributed differently. So its max attack or its max yeah. stat is 130. And so, yep, then I was number goofy. five. Oh. Gramble's 120. Bulu's 130. Xerneas 131. Tapu so Goku's 115. We know. Uh, yeah. Is there a Pokemon between Tapu Koko and Gramble? Our question. Mega Mawile's base 105, I believe. Yeah, it has huge power. It's That's what pushes huge it. Huge power there. that makes it scary. Uh, the uh, yeah, the other Mega Fairy is Gardevoir. That's not touching anything. <laughs> it did get a boost to its attack, but it's not above Tapu Koko. <laughs> At least yeah. we have Tapu Koko as an option here. Uh, any other oh, new fairies? No. Mega Odno. <laughs> it's also not Azumarill. Sadly. Yeah, no, that's like, also a huge power boost. It's like sixty base power, maybe fifty. Yeah. Right, do we have good. an answer? Uh, do we just Coco. say Coco? Yeah, let's just say Coco and pass if we don't know. Or yep. if we we'll get it. All right, and clearing the category, Tapu Coco is indeed correct. Nicely done, you guys needed that one. Uh, you did forget one mega. I forgot Altaria. Bad. That thing's not a. That's only has round stats. It's only five plus from Coco. <laughs> It's, it is number Meh. six on this Meh. list. <laughs> Captain Fluff doesn't matter to us. All right. Uh, would you guys like to move on, or do you want to go back to HP Dragon or Defense Poison? Uh, Altaria on, is not the dragon, so let's continue onwards. Yeah. All right. <laughs> uh, so now we're going to be looking at special attack for rock-type Pokemon. Special attack for rock-type Pokemon. Uh, Hello again there, Mega Diancie. <laughs> at number one, <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Uh, oh, by the way, these the six uh, the six types were all randomly generated too. So, okay. mm -hmm. uh, do we have a Hiligo up there? Do you think? Yeah, that's base one thirty something. Yeah, one thirty one, so, I think. So yeah, let's definitely nominate a Hiligo here. That is so, number two. Yes. Cool. Uh, okay. Well, that's where rocks fall off. Uh, <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> uh, regular Diancie has base one hundred. I know that. 
Uh, that might actually be a real answer in this category. Uh, it might be. Uh, Prova Pass is not up there. Aurora's. Hmm? What are your thoughts on Aurora? Oh! Uh, Omastar. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's like 115, 120. Yeah. Oh. Submit Omastar. Yep. All right. That one. Uh, Omastar is indeed at 115. So you have the top three. All right. I feel like it's still going to come down to regular DNC at this point, but <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I feel like Aurorus has the potential to be up there, even though it's mostly SPDF and HP, I think. Yeah. Um, but its other stats are garbage, so that's why I think it might be up there. Yeah, I'm trying to think of any other possible rock types that were... Uh, rock is such a forgettable typing in my brain, I have a problem with it. Archaeops might be up there. Honestly, yes, it's got 110. Yeah, it's higher than no. Yancy, so I think we submit that. 110 speed. Uh, I know it's got a really weirdly high special attack, so I think yeah. it might be 110 as well. I, I'm fine with submitting that. Yeah, let's do it. Archaeops. Number four at 112. Nicely done. Okay. Yeah, right. weird. And we're, we're back down to that number five spot. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, rock Megas. Is there... Rock uh, Megas, than yeah. Is there anything in between 100 and 112 is what we're playing at? Yeah. What likes ancient power? <laughs> <laughs> what, what wishes it had power, Gem? Like, I don't... Probo Pass is horrible, so I don't think that's it. It's got passable st attacking stats, but they're both just passable. That's it. I think they're 70s or something weird like that. Uh, yeah, I think we go for Deonce. This one we can probably come back to, because I think it'll yep. be Aurorus if it's not Deonce. But... Yeah, or something that we think of along the way. I'm good with that. All right, yeah. so your, your answer is? Deonce. Base form Deonce. And closing out the category, nicely done. What? Uh, it is indeed uh, base form Deonce at uh, 100. Very good. We're pulling it back. Yes, you are. Still, so again, we are more than halfway through the game. You have three strikes. Uh, should we continue on, or do you want to go back to one of the other categories? Oh, do you know what? Do you think Tyrantrum's the HP for Dragon? Ooh. We'll come back to that. <laughs> yeah, that's something to keep in mind. All right, next one, moving on to Special Defense on Water Pokemon. Special Defense on Water Pokemon. Hello, Primal Kyogre. How are you today? <laughs> At number <laughs> one, yes. Uh, Hello again, Toxapex. Uh, indeed, Toxapex is number two. Hello, regular form Kyogre, I think. At number three. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now that you got those three out of the way, what do you got next? <laughs> Hello, Mega Gyarados at 130. I, uh, uh, Mega Gyarados is at 130. It's not next, though. Oh, it, it's not Tapu Pini, is it? That's a defense Pokemon, right? Or is it a special it's defense? Special defense is 130. Its base defense is one. Its physical defense is 115. Okay, so it, Tapu Pini should be in here, too, right? Did, did Gyarados make the list, or no, is that a Gyarados strike? No, Gyarados did not make the list. That is a oh. strike. Okay, so it's not Tapu Pini, either. It's huh. more than 130. Oh dear. Um, <laughs> oh dear. Oh boy. What's Kyogre? Do you know? 140? Uh, it might be 140. I think its attack is 150. It's... Uh, it is indeed 140. I'll give you that one as you've, you've uh, already answered it. So between 130 and 140. Yeah. Um... And let me, let me throw this out at you for, uh, as well, uh, in fairness. Um, Kyogre is tied at number three. Oh, oh boy. It, it's not Palkia, is it? <laughs> no. No, I think that might have one of 100 or 105. I think that's all speed and special attack for Alpia. Yeah. Uh, it's not Alamola, it's not Waylord. They're just HP. Yeah. It's not Milotic, because that's 115. Or no, 125 to match Gyarados' attack stat. Okay, yeah. So. Um, there aren't... A Lugia is not a water type, last I checked. Um. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell so you guys, I'm gonna tell you guys right now, this one's hard. So uh, it's part rock type. <laughs> <laughs> so it's dumb. Um <laughs> Could it be like slow king? No. No, that's No, that's attack. Really. That's attacking offensive stats. No, 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 it's not. It, it literally is the swap of defense and special defense between slow slow bro. Yeah. It, it doesn't basically. change its attack stats. Also, okay, remember, folks, with, with a strike in this category, you can move on if you'd like, or if you want to try and go again, you have... Uh, oh, that's true. You have three more strikes before you do officially uh, lose. It isn't Mega Swampert, right? 
I don't think so. I, I know. I guess or Swamper can be especially bulky, but I think that's what's its all best support. Blastoise. Right. I don't think it's higher than one thirty. I don't. That's either. physical defense. It, it would be. Yeah, I'm just going through megas. Yeah. Uh, there is no Reggie for water. <laughs> Reggie, <water. laughs> what if we melt Reggie ice? <laughs> Can we melt Reggie ice? Then you have a category? then you have a hate crime. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm, we're either gonna need an answer, or we're gonna have you guys move on to the last category, or okay. back to one of the other ones. Yeah, yeah, let's go on. Let's go on. All right, well, water so are weird. The last category is speed, and I want to know those speedy, speedy. Fire types. Uh, the fast right. fire types. Mega Blaziken's only a hundred. Uh, yeah. Delphi might is be on there though. That. Uh, is Ho Oh base one hundred? No, it's base ninety. Okay. Uh, I know Lugi is one ten, so that's what got me thinking. Yeah, no. Uh, Victini is. Victini's a hundred. Volcarona is a hundred. Delphox mm. is the fastest. Oh, wait, Infernape is faster. At 108? Yeah. Um, Infernape matches the... Well, no, it might be 109, but unimportant. I think that's one of them. We can go ahead and say that one. Yeah, okay. Uh, Infernape. Infernape at number four. Okay, oh, so dear. there are faster ones. Uh, Darmanitan is 105? No, Customer? I think it's 100. There's 95. <laughs> I think it's 100 as well. Oh, wow. Everything's based on Talonflame. Talonflame is 126. And that is at number one, yes. Oh, oh joy. <laughs> so many fire types in between there. Well, at least the, we have the, a there's bracket. There's two of them. Two of them between there. <laughs> <clears throat> That's a lot of fire types that aren't based 100 speed, sir. <laughs> All right. Uh, Neither of the Charizards. They don't change. Reshiram's slow. Yeah. Uh, Reshiram's real slow. Uh... Blacephalon is 107. Yeah. <laughs> yes. That might be number five. Uh, mm. What was Delphox again? 104. Okay. So Delphox uh, is off the list. Yeah, I was confusing it with um, its special attack. Fast uh, fire types. It's not Arcanine, that's base 100. Uh, 95. But... Close enough. <laughs> it's base not on this list. <laughs> no, it, it's sitting in the base 100 camp of like Charizard, Typhlosion, Victini, Volcarona. All fire types are like base 100 unless you're Chandelure. Then you're like base 80. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I'd be the, okay. Looking at this list, there are some surprising names on the above 100 list, but... <laughs> we're looking at the top five, though. So we're looking Listen at... to him leading us astray. <laughs> Yeah, I'd be okay with submitting Blacephalon and just continuing to think, just to submit we something. Can, yeah, we can at least figure out where the bracket ends, so I'm game for it. Blacephalon. Blacephalon in at number five. Yes, nicely done. So we're looking at number two and number three. The number two and three, speediest fire-type Pokemon. Uh, Entei is also based 100 speed, because why not? Yeah. <laughs> Flareon is not a fast Pokemon. No. Simisir is ignorable. <laughs> is it? Th yes. <laughs> it's it can't be fast, right? I think oh it God, is. It I think all fast. the monkeys have only speed stat as their only stat. I think they might. <laughs> it's possible. <laughs> oh dear. We'll keep it on the back burner. Oh, hey. No. Um <laughs> the monkey might take blood. Um <laughs> I agree. No one likes that monkey. Uh, the fire megas are Blaziken, Charizard, and Camerupt. Yeah, <laughs> all, all, all based out. 100 or Camerupt. Uh, or Camerupt. Important distinction Like those tier there. lists. Uh, Primal Groudon, base 90 speed, not fast. Yeah. ho 90 speed. Hmm. I... Someone's yeah, screaming be, at their car right now. It might be Simmy's here. I'm screaming, Let, but I'm looking at the list too. So, <laughs> yeah, you're you have no right to scream. <laughs> you have no right to scream. You have the answers. I'm good with Simmy Seer. I hate to say that. I, I I think that's where I'm at too. 
Are you going with Simi Seer? Yeah. Yep. Lock in. Uh, Simi Seer has a speed of 101. I was surprised it was not that high, but not high enough for this. Darn it. So you have earned your fifth strike. So just as a quick recap on the board, you've hit most of them on, on all the categories. Uh, we're missing the number five spot for HP and Dragon. We're missing the number five spot for uh, Defense and Poison. We're missing four and five for Special Defense and Water. And we're missing two and three for Speed and Fire. And you have you have one more that you can get wrong. Yep. And then uh, the second one you get wrong will be uh, ending the game. Yeah. Um, okay, so Fletchinger is probably not that fast. I don't think it is. Uh, <laughs> what fire types were in Alola? Uh, why am I asking about fire types in Alola? I was Alola? about to say, why there's, are you asking about There's Alola? no speed in Alola. <laughs> are you Tapu Koko? Are you Rabambi? No? Okay, let's move on. Then um, you are on island. <laughs> um, none of the starters, really. Oh. No. No, not starters. Not, not mythicals. Anymore. Oh, no, no. Volcanion is not fast. Get out of here, Volcanion. No. <laughs> Pyroar, not fast. Heatran, not fast. Heatran, not fast. <laughs> that covers all of OU. We've, we've talked about Volcarona and Heatran. There's nothing else in OU. Uh, let's see. Yeah, fire types. Joy. Uh, <laughs> what is it that would have a speed stat, though? Like, Flachinder is a weird one. That might. I will say from your discussion, you are overlooking. Well, yeah, a few the things. correct answer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rotom Heat, not the answer. Can we put a flame dry to no? Not even a flame dry Genesect can get us out of this one. <laughs> that doesn't actually change. No, it, does. no, it does, does not. It? Just the techno Didn't drive. Think so. Techno blast. Pardon me. Um, Maltress is not that fast. I no, think that's it's base not. ninety. Base. Gen 4, anything in Gen 4. <laughs> oh, it's gens. Ra- oh, Rapidash? Yes. Uh, Rapidash, earning your 6th strike. Rapidash at 105. Never mind. Wow, that is the only Gen 4 po- fire Pokemon, and it is not fast enough. <laughs> you mean, gen- it's a Gen 1. <laughs> yeah, but if you played through Gen 4, it was in for an Oh, yeah, yeah, now I understand. <laughs> now I understand. Okay, so we have one, one more thing to go until we are out. Fall. Stupid I rapid. almost want to go you back to been... water so, types. So I'll, I'll, I mean, you can go back to water type, but I, I could give you some hints for for this one if you if you want them. Uh, sure. Uh, you are overlooking something in Alola, and you are overlooking a Mega. Oh. Hmm. Okay then. Interesting. What's in Alola? It's a. Oh no, Oracorio isn't fast. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, Oracorio isn't. Oh no, it's not. <laughs> There's only like 12 Pokemon in Alola. What are we missing? <laughs> it's not Alolan Marowak either. No. Oh, Nine Tails. Is that no, one? That's no, that's base 100. 100. <laughs> no. They added speed to Alolan. Alolan Nine is. Tails. <laughs> it's like Alolan Nine Tails is faster than Infernape. Too bad it doesn't matter. Alolan Nine Tails <laughs> yeah, is also the only type, Pokemon yeah. they. And a Mega. Let's tr- let's try and nail down the Mega first because that's. Does Blaziken become 110? I thought it was base 100 speed, but I could be wrong. I thought it was too, but... And Charizards are both base 100 speed. What are the Fire Megas? The Zards? They're not. They're both base Camera 100, up. I know that for a fact. <laughs> Camera Up is not a fast Pokemon. And Blaziken is a fast Pokemon, kind of. But I, I don't think... Maybe it is Mega Blaziken. I could yeah, have sworn it base 100. Any other... Oh, Houndoom! Now, uh, just as a quick reminder, though, guys, so uh, Blacephalon was number five, was that was at 107. Uh, Infernape uh, was just above that at number four, and Talonflame is at 126. So, just giving you a reminder on that. Yeah, Mega Houndoom is like 115-ish. That's it, yeah. Mega Houndoom, uh, as for Alola, I think, though. is 115. Mega Houndoom is 115. Yep, so we're just looking for the number two spot, and the hint I gave you is that you're overlooking something in Alola. And it's between 115 and 126. Uh, Alola, why? Obviously it's Turtonator. After like three steps. <laughs> <Just> Clearly. 
<laughs> Clearly, that's where we're going with this. Uh, Terminator, just so it's out got of the like top one twenty ish. If we had a list of slowest fire types, I think Terminator might win that. <laughs> Suddenly, Snag's list is wrong. <laughs> Oh, what, a plus six Terminator almost at speeds of Talonflame? I am shocked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's Salazzle. It is indeed Salazzle, yes. Salazzle. That uh, finishes out that category. All right, so uh, where do you want to go back to next, then? We have, um, again, the number five spot, an HP Dragon. We have lots of water types, so let's... Yeah, let's. I'd say water so types. Should we go back to special defense and water? Even though... Yeah, we got two slots to fill you there, do, so we're, yes. we and we know the bracket. So, uh, just as a quick reminder here, uh, number so. one is Primal Kyogre at 160, number two is po Toxapex at 142, and number three is Regular Kyogre at 140, and that number three is tied with another Pokemon. So what else has 140 special defense and is a water type? What is a bulky, bulky water type? Boy. It's not Quagsire, Gastrodon. Um, <laughs> no. When I think of what bulky waters, I start thinking of them. It's not Suicune. I think those, the doggy stats mm -hmm. cap at 115 for their highest, maybe. Yep. Uh, yeah, that sounds right. Is there another water legend that we're forgetting? Manaphy is boring. Is it Volcanion? Yep. No, I think that has 120 defense, and that's its highest. Okay. Uh, Other than attack, uh, special attack, obviously. Um, it's not Keldeo. That's in special attack. Yep, and that's at 125 anyway. Yeah. Uh, I don't think there's a water legend we're missing now that we've kind of recapped. Because there isn't a water ultra beast, right? No, there is not. Because that would be obscure enough to get in there. Yeah. This might not help at all, but like this might be the hardest category. <laughs> uh, apparently, if Mega Gyarados... He said the word hard twice. No, it's not a hint about it being a rock type. He said the word hard. <laughs> it's a rock water with special defense. What's harder than so rock? Or a steel. Steel water. <laughs> so are you sure we can't melt a regice through this category? <laughs> A lowland regice. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's uh, a it's, puddle. So it isn't a lowland ideals, is it? No, that's one ten. Oh and no, that's an ice type anyway. <laughs> We're not playing the TCG segment. Can we melt the lowland ideals? <laughs> <laughs> Can we melt the lowland ideals? <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, could it be Mega Slow, bro? I don't Might think be. it is, because, sure. like, all of it dumps in in defense. It goes from, like, one, 110 defense to like 180 50. defense. Mm. I know its defense in Mega is 180, and it's dumped all yeah. of it there in, like, the last in special attack, so I don't think it's Mega Slow, bro. No, I don't think so. Uh, that, I, and I by that standard, I'm, I'm I don't need, think it's Mega Slow. For, I'm going to need to ask yeah. for a, an answer from you guys here. Mega yeah. Blastoise. And Mega Blastoise does earn you your seventh strike, unfortunately. Yahoo! Well fought, guys, and I, I think I don't uh, feel bad. we can bring this game <laughs> back for other pairs, other pairs of hosts cause, to see how they do compared to you. Um, so, as long as we're on it, let's go and talk about uh, special defense and water. Mantine is tied with Kyogre oh, at one Oh, point. no. Dang it. Followed by, uh, so here's, here are the ones that you didn't say at all. Followed by Wishy Washy School Form. So that, that oh, runs yeah. off the top five. And then there's Araquanid. And uh, you mentioned um, uh, which out, uh, out special defenses Mega Gyarados and Tapu Fini and Pukumuku. Oh, poor Pukumuku. <laughs> wow. So those are all really, really specially defensive water types. Uh, I failed to in... again. In uh, defense and poison, uh, you are on the right track there. You had thrown out Whirlipede. It does have a defense of 99, uh, whereas Skullipede only has 89 for uh, defense. And oh. then HP Dragon, you touched on it. I thought you were going to get there. Tied at number five 
are Garchomp and uh, 50% Zygarde. Oh. Oh. But you never Yeah, if we knew it was a tied number, we would have gotten that You never officially easy. submitted a, an answer <laughs> on those. So Yeah, we uh, didn't know it was like tied for number six, so it's like, yes, oh, there's a clear that, that top five. Never mind. Yes, I did, I you can skip you, those two because uh, it's got to be higher than them. <laughs> yeah. But uh, nicely done. So let's see here. You left uh, one, two, four open spots. We'll we'll see. We'll bring this back maybe in a couple months and see if another set of co-hosts can outdo you with uh, having these uh, spots open. So, uh, what do you guys think of this this version of this game? That was a that was a ride, but that was yeah. so fun. <laughs> well, good. I, I'm glad I like being in- co-op. Yeah, no, I think I think it was good, and I think it's right there at the level of difficulty where, you, again, you guys, uh, I think you did a tremendous job. You did much better than I would have done, certainly. Uh, but, unfortunately, you did not quite meet the mark. But we'll see if anyone else is going to be able to do that in a future episode. So, with that, that has been Puckle Game Corner. Uh, we'll just uh, do a few reminders here, folks. Uh, thank you for listening to us here on Puckle Plus. You can hear several other shows here. Uh, the TCG cast, I believe, would have come out the week before this one. And then at the end of the month, you're going to hear Seth Vilo again uh, uh, hosting Battlecast. Seth, do you want to uh, plug that a little bit at all? Uh, listen to it. It's fun. I don't know the exact recording schedule just because of when this is recorded versus when it comes out but it'll be a good episode i can make that i suppose we could say that we actually if you were listening to puckle plus you would have heard his uh battlecast two weeks ago uh seth what was that episode about that was about team construction strategies to get everybody ready for the summer league coming up. Fantastic. I'll have to have a listen. It's been a while since I've actually built a team for OU. I've been so deep into uh, draft leagues that I don't know if I can build an OU team <laughs> anymore. But uh, I, I have some I have some pretty good ideas about that. But anyway, uh, yeah, so definitely check out Battlecast for some good information. Uh, yeah, come challenge our gym leaders. Come to our Discord. There will be a link in the description for our Discord. And come and do our summer league. It is a blast. Uh, it is a lot of fun. It's a lot of learning experiences, and there is uh, uh, we we have real badges. We have real badges. Information about that uh, on the main podcast. Come get real badges. Maybe you have to pay for them. Maybe you have to come to PuckleCon, but come do it. Um, also, check us out on Twitch and on YouTube. Uh, we'll have uh, that information for you as well. If you like what you hear, uh, come support us on Patreon. Uh, we, uh, if you have a little bit of change jingling around in your pocket, come support us there. Uh, that is one of the ways where you can get some of those physical badges, which are really sweet, very nicely uh, done on the designs on those baskets. I love them, and I'm excited to get some of those myself. And... Uh, otherwise, also check out our Tee Public store where you can get some awesome t-shirts of our co-hosts, of your favorite PDL teams, uh, or just other Puckle brands and stuff. Or uh, Seth Philo, what do you enjoy? What, what are you wanting to get for, for yourself? Get yourself a tapestry. That's right. Line your walls with tapestries. <laughs> it's going to be great. Uh, they just, Thatch just put up the actual Puckle logo as a new tapestry format. Previously, it was up there, but it wasn't high enough resolution to do a tapestry. So you can get yourself a Puckle logo and put it everywhere you go. There you go. <laughs> everywhere you go. <laughs> just as a cape. Where it has a cape, I was about to say. Nice. Um, with that, folks, I don't know if I have any other things to promote, but thank you very much for listening and getting this far. Uh, gentlemen, do you want to go ahead and sign off? I've been Seth Philo. I've been R. Sigma. And I've been Professor Snag. And as always, help control the reject population. Get your digital spade and neuter. Good night. <laughs>
two fifty for you? About okay. two fifty. About three. Sounds seven. good. I really like her um, quick game explanations. I, I do too. It's really good, and then I also don't have to stumble through it each time. So <laughs> exactly, that's the thing. It's a consistent like this is the rule. This is the thing, and we're done. Exactly. So let me do a quick Google search on this. Otherwise, I can look and see. Okay, it is a move. Maybe it wasn't on my list for some reason. Let me look here. Hang I on, think give it's me two minutes power. to edit the Bulbapedia page. <laughs> <laughs> Today, the category is top attack stats of fish Pokemon. <laughs> Not water Pokemon. Fish. Pokemon. <laughs> Remember that time wow. I, was, I was driving uh, um, in. It was something for PuckleCon. It would have been two years ago. And yes, I saw, yeah, I, I remember saw that. Transformer explode. I was oh. in your car. We watched the thing explode that put the power outage <laughs> you, at the place. You were there with me. Okay, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know if anyone was in there. I thought it was by myself. Yeah, but yeah. No, it was. It, you were driving Team Hotel there, and okay. we all had something. I don't think we stopped at McDonald's, but it was no. you, me, Jushiro, Nemiems. I, I do not remember it. So no, I, I think, I think what it was is it was. Okay, Maybe you I, guys had to go we, back or something. Saw, I think we saw a couple things happen because, like, I remember. I think I was I did, ran like some sort of errand really early that morning, and I saw like a transformer explode. Oh yeah, I remember the story. Yeah. Wait, maybe that's what I'm. Okay, hmm. yeah, I maybe remember I that story, the story now. Of the transformer you woke up. <laughs> you were up early that morning. Maybe I just have a really good imagination. Damn, very I was vivid. there. You listened to the story and you were able to picture it perfectly. <laughs> This is what happens when you listen to audiobooks. You just hear people tell stories, and you think, yep, that was, yep, 